Hi, and welcome to the condo at the CIC Club. We are currently walking into the front door and into the great room and the kitchen area. As we walk toward the 18th fairway, you can begin to see the fireplace and the new television installed above. Notice across the top of the TV there's a sound bar. That is a separate piece of equipment sold for surround sound. And uh, as you can tell, it's actually got all of these speakers built into it with the addition of a wireless subwoofer that sits over here. Of special interest, as part of the installation, you should notice the hidden cables and wall plates installed. Here we have a wall plate that's been added above the fireplace. On the left hand side you'll notice an HDMI cable coming out. That's for the Blu-ray disc player. The smaller cable on the right is for an MP3 player to be installed at a later date. When the wall was opened up, plaster removed and exposed, there were cables installed for this cover plate to be used by grandkids. On the left hand side is your typical composite video audio left and right. On the right hand side is your VGA connection and another HDMI connection. These can be used as additional inputs to the TV installed above the fireplace. From the great room, sliding glass doors to the fairway, we enter the master suite to the left restroom. To the right is the master bedroom, and as we turn a look at the door we just came in, we can see another 47-inch uh, LED flat screen TV installed. This particular TV was installed with an articulating arm so that it can be moved and tilted in different fields of view. And again, it's part of the master suite, walk-in closets, uh, the usual. As we walk out of the master suite, we have a nice view of the kitchen area, dining room. But the home office, we'll walk in the door. Turn around and here is one of the many smaller 19-inch TVs installed. And this also has articulating arm. I'll try to get a good picture around the back of it here. This is a smaller version of an articulating arm. It will swing away from the wall and allow for vertical tilt, horizontal tilt, etc. And again, while walls were opened, cables were installed. So there is an additional VGA cable that uh, is available for a PC connection to the TV as a secondary monitor. as well as audio connection, as you can tell. So in the home office, we have TV on the wall with cables inside the wall running down to a future desk connection. From here, we'll go upstairs. We covered the three TVs downstairs um, as we walk upstairs, we enter the loft area, and immediately you can see another 45-inch uh, TV mounted flat on the wall. And again, we have the same sound bar across the top with the subwoofer in the lower right-hand corner. And again, I would like to point out 
the auxiliary cover plate that's been added. On the left side, we have the composite video, audio left and right. On the right side, we have the VGA connection for use with a laptop. We have the HDMI connection for future Blu-ray. And here you will also see the MP3 connection for playing the MP3 player through the soundbar system. And I might also add that the uh, the MP3 connection is directly to the soundbar, so the TV can be turned off, soundbar turned on, and uh, MP3 sound can be enjoyed. And again, this is the loft area, uh, looking down upon the great room and the other television. We will go to our left into one of the upstairs bedrooms. The previous owner had furniture built in this room, which will uh, remain for use. Here is one of the other TVs upstairs, 19-inch variety. And this has a smaller version of the articulating arm, allowing it to be swung out, moved, tilted, swiveled, etc. Upstairs, we'll travel over to one of the bedrooms. Uh, on the north wall, we have another uh, nice smaller 19-inch wall-mount TV. And again, here's an articulating arm showing um, showing the TV being uh, moved and swiveled away from the wall. As we leave this bedroom, we'll enter the second bedroom, again, uh, with a northern view. And we have the last of the upstairs televisions. And again, the articulating view. Now, I might add the smaller televisions do not have the additional wall plates installed, just the uh, the two theater areas. So once again we have the upstairs loft, uh, surround sound bar installed on top with uh, the optional wireless subwoofer. Going down this hallway there's two bedrooms each with their own TV and then behind is the third bedroom upstairs with its TV mounted on the articulating arm. All right, thank you for your time. This concludes the video inventory of uh, Dennis Kane. Thank you. Here we have some additional pictures. This would be the cover plate upstairs with six connections. Here we have the cover plate on the mantel. The HDMI cable on the left can be tucked back in the wall so it's nice and neat and out of the way. This is the cover plate uh, down beside the fireplace. Notice there's no MP3 input. It's up on the mantel. Here is the media center that's located out in the garage. The white panel on the left. That is where all of the cable inputs are connected to. So from outside, Adelphi has a cable coming into this panel on the left, and the phone line comes in here. There you can see the cover removed, and the cables and coax to your left, and all the CAD5 phone stuff on the right-hand side. Uh, getting a little closer, you can see the splitter now, and you can see some of the phone connections. But the uh, this is the hub. This is the central connection point for all of the condo cables. Thanks.